really quick intro to the intro of the episode. Um, my mic is crunchy just for this little intro bit because I'm using a regular mic again instead of my Yeti, which is packed away while I edit these. But um, this is the last episode where things are a bit wonky, where I am trying to like do a weird, you know, following along with my audio while I'm re-recording the visual component. Uh, it's the last time we have that, thank goodness, it's a nightmare to edit. So uh, thank you all for putting up with that. I appreciate it. Get back to the video momentarily. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. We're gonna like do a super fast run. Uh, I think we haven't really we've started a main mission, which means it can progress um, personal like dialogue like I can like dialogues can change up. I just want to see if that has happened. Commander. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. We've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Yeah, I don't know why none of her outfits, this one, this one covers up her nipples from the bottom and the other one doesn't even cover them up from the top. It's just funny. Whoever, whoever did Edie's. I, I, I kink shame you. <laughs> you know, I do. As I love her and Joker's, uh, like, the, their relationship. Um, I think it's interesting. Did I? What's the title? Did I see something there? But I did not. Um, but, yeah. Where, where am I? I used to be able to, I used to be able to, come on, Dad. Change my companion's outfits from there. Alright, we good. I don't need to go talk to Grandpa. Dad didn't say anything, so off we go. What? Um, where ye be? Oh my gosh, where? Okay, I was like, which one? I think they did do that. They actually did remove the. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is from the Legendary Edition, where instead of cluttering up your your feed with all these little flags. You have to like hover on some things to, to see them, which is fine. But they also glow. Time to go find a nerd. A field nerd, just like me. Oh my gosh, you guys. I read a rip off of a Mass Effect novel, novel recently. Um, it was wild. Uh, like straight up, I was like, oh, hop. Like at first you're thinking it's like, you know, fun little, uh, oh geez, okay. Um, oh my gosh, okay, okay, calm down. Jeez, I am. Now, I, apparently I have to concentrate on this. Your orbit's proximity to the mass relay. They use it as a, well, I cannot talk, a gravitational slingshot. Okay, if I'd have read it, I wouldn't have scanned it. Uh, it's not gonna be on the gas giant, which is another one of those ones that's been pulled inside the, what the, the whatever ring it is that gas giants usually don't form inside of, so it got pulled in. Extra solar capture. Sizable gas giant. Extra solar capture, whoa! <laughs> it is near enough to be within the red zone of the dwarfs. Massive size prevents the, massive size prevents the tidal log. Alliston has life, yeah. The Reapers have since destroyed this operation. Alright, I'm gonna look at this other one just to- Oh, and is that? Elatha. A tiny rock. There's little to recommend. Okay, they really are like, no, really the only place that you're gonna find anything is here. <laughs> oh! Member of the Fulmar Belt. Freezes a dwarf planet with no atmosphere, same as Pluto. This, however, I, I think Pluto has a tiny, tiny atmosphere. Um, rich in lithium, ah, blah, blah, blah. The miners left because of the reapers. Um, it's the largest satellite of the gas giant Cernunos. Ancient asteroid strikes deposited major loads of element zero. That's what we were looking for. Uh, Eltfell Ashland Energy's mining operations made it the largest source of Starship Drive Core material in the Attican Traverse, which threatened Calston's native biodiverse treaty with industrial waste. Of course it did. Calston is racked with volcanism due to the tidal stresses from Cernunus. 
because of weak solar output, plant like life on calcium is not carbon based and photosynthetic, but silicon based and thermosynthetic, requiring, as I say, yeah, okay, 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 is requiring heat rather than sunlight to power chemical reactions. That is cool. That is basically what uh, deep sea vents do. Um, these organisms flourish in volcanic vents. Ha <laughs> ha! And during solar flares, when Balor, Callus, and Sun can double or triple in luminosity. Oh wow, interesting. Oxygen breathing habitation is not possible outside of its many domed cities. These cities are now feasts for the Reapers, who drove off Callus's protective fleet and now threatened to puncture domes to force the population into submission. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you submit or not, you're still gonna be turned into fodder. You know what I mean? I think I'd rather just go down fighting? I don't know, you know? And not be like, have to walk into a repurposement facility and get turned into a husk? I'd rather be dragged there as a dead body. EK, the reapers are gonna get me. Oh, what? Oh, maybe, okay, maybe he's not here. He's in a different part of the system. Okay, I was like, excuse me? Okay. Very bad. Alright, just kidding. We looked at that whole system for nothing. Look at these tiny... Oh my gosh, there's so many planets. I must know what they say. Oh, this looks like Earth. It's a moon of drown and is classified as a water world because oceans, cup, oceans are ice cover 90% of its surface. Besides prodigious sea life, Abuna is home to a host of venomous anthropodal, anthropodal pests. Pest is a strong word! That is, uh, that's like using weeds, you know? Where it's like, this is like an actual, like, native flora or fauna. And it's just not where you want it to be. So pest, you can translate straight up, weed and pest. Because people are like, dandelions are weed, they're freaking edible. They're edible and they're native to many places. But pests and weed are directly translated, basically, as something that is not wanted by whatever, like, in the wrong spot, in the way of whoever is trying to do something, you know? Venomous antipodal pests. Listen, they live here! <laughs> like, you're in the- you're a pest! Get out! With metallic carapace, it's one of those found on Palavin, which is radiation coming from Dranon's magnetosphere. There are several well shielded human colonies on Arbuna, though they are alienated from the council and politically insignificant to the Traverse and Terminus systems. The Reapers have yet to reach here, concentrating instead of the Balor system. While this cuts Arbuna off in the cluster's mass relay, it is at least some evidence that the Reapers cannot be everywhere at once. I guess that's nice. Yes, Dranon. Oh, I got lots of info. It's a sizable helium gas giant. Known for spectacular storms. The green is cool. Mm -hmm. They have lasted longer than Jupiter's great red spot. Well, hey, that's been nice. <laughs> the largest of these spots has consistently held a diameter of over three times that of Earth. Wild. 44 moons. Two of them are of special interest in the Citadel Committee on Habitable World Worlds. That's the one. Ooh, the second Alahia is ter slowly being terraformed into an ammonia-based world for Volus populations. So they're just, is it already kind of ammonia-based, or <laughs> are they just like wrecking whatever's there to make an ammonia-based world? Um, also, I think it's funny that these are apparently very independent from the Traverse and from the Council, and yet the Council is terraforming one of the moons out here. Very close. To apparently a politically neutral location gives the pan planet a pale green color. <laughs> only only probes can go there. Ripperine. Whoa! Hello, Shasu. Dwarf planet that is believed to be ejected from Agnon during a giant impact with another planet. Liquid rock sprayed into space where it coalesced and cooled into a planet. It's relatively temperate. Cool. Alformus, why are these names so hard? Uh, da -da -da. Oh. They were destroyed by an attack of Grow Zero, an anti population terrorist group that wanted to stop further immigration to Arvuna. A consortium of Arvuna-based corporations are currently rebuilding stations. 
Alformis is not considered vital to the stability of the ASOR system. Civilians working on the Healing 3 platform should not expect Alliance military intervention in case of kidnapping or other violence. Yeah, no, that's kind of the impression I'm getting out here, but it is, as, again, it is funny that they are apparently sending the Volos out here <laughs> into this area. They're like, yeah, it's technically not in Citadel space, but, uh, peace, you know? Grow Zero, what a name. Anti-population terrorist group to stop further immigration to Aruna. So are those people who are like, you know, were they were they former immigrants to Aruna and now they're like, get off my lawn for anybody else? They just want to like have an inbred population. Um, obviously, if the population's big enough, it won't be inbred. But you know, you don't. Eventually, after a while, the bloodlines would just. I think eventually you would get more inbreeding than you would think. Um, boop, boop, boop. Either that or they're like, I don't know, from outside the planet. And for some reason they don't want people going to Arvona. <laughs> and they're like, don't do it. And it's like, what? What? <laughs> what is your problem? They're probably just uh, homegrown terrorists is what they are. Sure. <laughs> Been exploited for minerals, cobalt. Nice, okay. It's pretty. Let's see, we can scan. It's probably this one. <gasps> no. Really? Where he at? Is there another one I'm missing? I am. I was like, I think I am. If I'm looking at the the rings, there was that. Is I see it right here. I'm making sure there's nothing else. Are you here? In this most remote of places? What? Where is he? I found something. Okay. I was like, what? We have located Garno. Was that always there? Sometimes you used to be able to Mass Effect 2, you could go through and find asteroids sometimes in the asteroid belts, but. Okay. Well. Oh no! A glowing beacon. Population 152. It's an at high nickel and iron content asteroid. A close flyby reveals light emanating from its facilities. They should turn those off. It's a beacon. Not that I, I think having the lights off would change anything. Yeah, freaking... I did not... Oh, I did! It's just hard to see. Okay. I think it... Yeah, okay, I see some of the spikes here. I did put her in that. Sick. Or, or I didn't, and, you know... The game just gave it to me just now. Edie's been involved in this. She was, should I bring her? What are we doing? Leviathan. I should bring Liara too, huh? Because Li Liara would love this sort of a thing. And I have a tech and a biotic. I mean, Javik is always a good one because he's freaking Prothean. And he has interest. No, yes, I think we need to bring him. I think for the DLC, he has interesting things to say. We'll bring. I'm just gonna be biotic heavy. Cortez. We're about five minutes oh, out. Oh yeah, Commander. I went back to this armor. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility, TGS Mineral Works, small operation. In a Could mineral, a in an Leviathan asteroid that's already being mined. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Do we have any more information on what Leviathan could be? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is this Garno human, Bryson's partner, we must locate. Right. If we find Garno, we find Leviathan. Understood. Oh, uh, also, by the way, very excited. The guy who voiced Javik is going to be an. I think, what was it? Is he voicing. He's, he's not voicing. Rook, he's voicing somebody in Dragon Age Veilguard. I know, okay, yes. I was like, I think he's gonna play the Grey Warden, and he is, which just shot that guy up. I was already eyeing the Grey Warden guy. 
as a, as a love interest, right? He's very handsome. Uh, and he looks stoic, and I just mm, eat that up. <laughs> so, but having Javik's voice actor, I know it'll sound different, right? It's not gonna sound as like modulated, but like, mm, I am a voice girly, and so I'm already, I was already eyeing the guy for his looks, and now I'm like, now he's got a stellar voice. Ooh, I might fall for. It's kind of what happened with Solos, as I saw in the trailers. I didn't. I like saw everybody, and Solos didn't catch my eye initially. It wasn't until he spoke, and then I was like. Oh, Gareth David Lloyd, whatever his whole name is, I, I would do about anything for you. So, yes. <laughs> so, once I heard that voice, I was lost. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a reaper needs to be investigated. Just hope Garneau has the answers My we freckles need. are so cute! I'm reading reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid. Well, yeah. We're always... Bryson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. <laughs> yeah, that's Take a sound. Very true. They wouldn't normally come here for such a small facility, you know? They would just like do a drive by. Hi. Give me the heebie jeebies. Oh, we're already coming out guns blazing. We're not just gonna, we're gonna walk. Don't go anywhere, Cortez. We'll grab this guy and be right yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Keep You're jinxing it. Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. You're jinxing it, Shepard. Shepard. All right, we have singularity. Warp, stasis, warp ammo. Turn on your warp ammo, darling. I'll turn on my freeze ammo, actually. We have pull, slam, singularity, warp, lift grenade. Wow, we are... Wee! I sure hope. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we aren't in encountering Geth on this one. Pretty sure it's just straight up Reaper stuff. Shiny. Very cool looking. Whoa! Okay, I was like, we got through. I don't know if we had to like put in a certain passcode, but I was like, if we can get through, can shrapnel of other asteroid bits get through? But look at that. That's its whole purpose, is to block little tiny... Scouting if there party. are... Oh my that gosh, are there... Larger th than the term scouting oh, okay, party we, would I suggest. <laughs> okay, no, you guys can... You just go on through and I'll just follow you. Anyway, if there are banshees here, which I kind of think there are, I'm gonna scream. Another one? <laughs> Let's get Garneau before the serious troops arrive. The people in this uh, facility I think they're will be dead, scared. Honestly, but yes, you're right. Uh, all the flare and singularity, I think, are gonna work really well together. Nothing for me to pick up. I don't know, all our biotic abilities are good. And Liara, um... Warp ammo does extra damage to bar barriers and armor. And ooh, we should start lifting them up because then she can shoot them. And they'll do extra damage that way. To be fair, there's probably some people alive because the, some of the doors were locked and the guys, the bad, the baddies, couldn't get in. Welcome to TGS okay. Mineral Works. All Yikes! Need to sign in at reception. Oh. Okay, you guys be chillin'. They should be panicked. <gasps> that's right, that's right. Yeah, the eyes! <laughs> the eyes! <laughs> no, please! Why are you gonna turn so spooky like? Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just I love that turn she does. Front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. Oh, that will yep. be all. Oh, they're all... That will be... Hello? 
Yes, welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Yeah, we are. I was like, I don't know. You don't seem worried about those reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. It would have Come arrived on, within the last couple weeks. If he's you still gotta here, know. I need to speak to him. We you have gotta see Dr. it! Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken. I will un... And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You Whoever is controlling here. them is not doing a good job. Come yeah! On. Something is wrong here. Let's look around. You guys, Fine. you think? They're all talking like like robots that are not Edie. This is unnerving. We should repair the Okay. But do we have to distract the guy? Hi guy, don't worry about it. Oh, I need to find a different way to repair it somewhere. Aren't you worried about the Reapers? We know nothing. Go away. Mm -hmm. They're all obviously being Excuse super me. controlled, but in not a way that makes it seem like they're still in control of themselves. He was living in the ducks? Yes, what? Did I... Keep talking. Your appeal is denied. Your resources are cut off and you've been reassigned from that's your office. Dr. Triffin. Somebody's trying to escape whatever's going on by Welcome living in the ducks. Proud providers of Tungsten since 2162. What a weird thing to, uh... Okay, okay. Aren't you security? Did I hear something in the vents? Just hallucinating? I don't think you're gonna escape mind control by living in the I'll vents. I'll set the drone to repair the elevator, but we have to stay with it. Okay, I, I'd be moving. I mean, I'll stand as far out as I can. Okay, bye. Yeah, there he is. And Triffin is another person who apparently is like, Hey, this is not cool. Something is bad. You guys with me? Hopefully. The security log for the elevator said Garno was here in the last week. Why would they lie about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look Because they're far. obviously brainwashed. They're obviously brainwashed, you guys. We just encountered this sort of scenario like not 10 minutes ago. Mm. After comparing the stomach contents of Varen from eight different regions, we must reevaluate our current understanding of their feeding practices. Okay. <laughs> you, wh why is that here? This is a tungsten mining facility. It's not a research facility. I mean, it must be to some... Yeah, I mean, there's, they're, they're doing some research, but... Ta da There's a... Transit station medical bay. I think she's a... Yeah. yeah sorry. Have you seen Dr. Garno? Hello? You shouldn't be here. Evolutionary implications uh -oh. of human uh -oh. None of this makes sense for workers at a mining station. Yeah, yeah. Evolutionary what now? Also, when Liara walked up on me, I definitely thought she was a different story, like, from the facility, and I was like, ah, that scared me. You look scared. Evolutionary whatever, something like experiments on, like, human biotics or whatever, like, meh. 
to whomever is moving my stuff. Some of the data I've been compiling on how historical weather events affect how our government have gone missing. If you moved it, please return it. It's the culmination of years of research. If you need me to help you find space for your project, just ask. I'd be happy to help. What kind of, what are they, was this whole, is the tungsten facility thing a cover up just in general for a science type experimental facility? Or have things been messed up since, uh, or since, since they got taken over and brainwashed? Hi, it's mostly humans in here, but. That's the merciful realm. Absolutely, that's the data to use. They're, all, they're both this called miners. Yeah. What if it means stimuli the side more quickly? Interesting. We should look into that. Yikes! They're doing weird experiments! Mm -hmm. No, okay, I will fit. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Here I am. Oh no, here, here I am. Right? Security station is here. Mineral lab, crew quarters. I don't know, it's all turned funny. Medical bay and the transit station are over there. I think I need to get into the crew quarters or the science offices. It's gonna be. No, they don't! Spooky, it's spooky looking. Yeah, They're looking at me. They're all looking at me. I don't like that. Turn back. Oh, okay. You be here. Ooh, let me out. Um, I'm gonna go look in the other area first. Then I'm gonna maybe break into that room that they don't want me in. Welcome to the mineral lab. Our researchers are always hard at work. Scary, 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 scary. Sector one through four. Okay, no, it looks like I, because this is locked until something else happens. So I need to get into that other room. And they're gonna be. <laughs> Storm activity, communication with the beta research site have been delayed. Ground forecasts indicate that storms will dissipate by the end of the week. Let me in. Uh. Attention. Comm system is offline. This message was not sent. Bryson, it's Garnell. I've had to go into hiding, and I need you to come get me. I found another one of those artifacts here. More important than we realized. It's in the mines. Here's the nav point. That's where I'll be. If something happens. Oh, thank you. I'm attaching a passcode that I hacked together. It'll open any security terminal. Bryson, something is very wrong here. Please hurry. Going all out. So he's still here. Do we have that passcode hack? Yes. Just input it at the security terminal. Thrilling. He hit it in. Um, hi. There's stuff in there that I haven't clicked on. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, I keep getting that. Since applying recent feedback, your work has shown vast improvement. Your work with the corrected skin, scan skin samples we acquired was impressive. You are being given a promotion and a raise in security access level. Thank you for your hard work. Personnel ID. Huh. Employees are encouraged to not leave reviews in front of others. You've been corrupted. Nah, why are you getting corrupted skin scan samples? This is a restricted yeah, area. Yeah, well, uh... An active patient file number is Can I... Do I, I don't do have I, okay. Access denied. Here we go. Oh, nope. TGS Works is focused on. It's what? 
watching me! It's telling me that it's watching me! Please! I'm surprised it hasn't made a move yet. Whatever it is that's watching me. Don't mind me. Punch in Garno's terminal. Just gonna go. Definitely mind my own business next to the security terminal. Access granted. I hope Javik is turned around watching our backs. The ship dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. involved in an altercation in the mines. This guy no human was headed to the mines. Hmm. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab. A low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. Yeah, I've been there. I have the file number. Let's go get Gar now. Uh, he's been brainwashed for sure. They got him in there. He probably, they were like trying to like brainwash him and he was like, no! And then they dragged him there and he's been, he's been brainwashed. I'm sorry, Garno. Yeah, okay, well, let me in. This is a restricted area. I have it. Active patient file number is required. File 7364. Access granted. Keep looking for signs of a struggle. You know? Keep looking for bad things to happen. Um, unfortunately, I do think I'm gonna have to call this one here. It's gone a little long, so we're gonna have to wait for the Garneau reveal. I bet you, I swear he's brainwashed, and like, maybe he's fighting it or something, but no, I think, uh, I think we're kind of like one step behind on every situation here, sort of. And then we kind of do a little jump, and then it's like you get to the next place, and you're like, oh no, <laughs> you know? But thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.